Hello! In this lesson, we will discuss on how to determine the earthquake's epicenter using the triangulation method. The objectives are as follows. Calculate the distance of an earthquake's epicenter from seismic stations. Locate the epicenter of an earthquake using the triangulation method. You will need the materials to do the activity. Drawing compass, ruler, Philippine map, and calculator. Shown here is a diagram showing a seismograph. What is the function of a seismograph? A seismograph is a device used to detect and record the movement of the ground during an earthquake. It consists of a ground motion detection sensor called a seismometer and a recording system. This one is a seismometer. It is the internal part of the seismograph. It could be a pendulum or a weight mounted on a spring. This graph is called a seismogram. It is a graph output by a seismograph. The first to arrive at the seismic station is the P wave followed by S wave, then surface wave. Take note that P wave travels faster than S wave. Now, how do we calculate the lag time given the P wave and S wave arrival time? Say for example, P wave arrival time is 8 seconds and S wave arrival time is 15 seconds. We simply calculate the lag time using the equation lag time is equal to S wave arrival time minus P wave arrival time. So for example, we have um, 15 seconds minus 8 seconds. The lag time is 7 seconds. Please try calculating the lag time using this hypothetical seismogram. Along the x-axis, you have the time in seconds. And on the y-axis, you have the three seismic stations. What you are going to do is draw a vertical line from the P-wave or S-wave down to the x-axis to, to get the arrival time. Write your answer similar to this table. So here are the answers. For Batangas, P-wave is 8 seconds. S-wave is 34 seconds. For Palawan, P wave is 14 seconds, S wave is 64 seconds. And for Cagayan de Oro, P wave is 10 seconds, S wave is 48, 44 seconds. We summarize the answers here in the table. To get the lag time, we get the difference between the S wave arrival time minus P wave arrival time. So that's it. So for Batangas, Lag time is equal to 34 seconds minus 8 seconds. We get 26 seconds. To calculate the distance in kilometer, we use the equation distance is equal to lag time over 8 seconds times 100 kilometers. So we have uh, 26 seconds divide 8 seconds times 100 kilometers. We get 325 kilometers. So Batangas seismic station is 325 kilometers away from the epicenter of the earthquake. To calculate the distance in centimeters or in cm, we just convert the 325 kilometers to centimeters using the scale provided in the map. So we have 325 kilometers times the scale, we have 100 kilometers is to 1 cm. So we get 300, I, I mean 3.25 cm. We will use this distance in centimeters when triangulating the epicenters. So please do the same in Palawan and in Cagayan de Oro.
We've done calculating the distances in kilometers and in centimeters. All the values are summarized in this table. Now, how do we calculate the epicenter using triangulation method? Using this Philippine map, center your compass on the station you have chosen. Set your compass on the computed distance in centimeters. Then draw a circle. You should get three circles that intersect or nearly intersect at a point. The intersection of these three circles is the epicenter of the earthquake. So finally, we got already the epicenter of the earthquake. Please take note of these terms we use in this lesson. Okay, you have four questions to answer. Try your best to answer this correctly. I hope you've got the correct answers. So this is all for now. See you on the next lesson.